MTI back with another one. What is going on, my future millionaires? I have some news that nobody is covering as of yet between Solana and Ethereum. Ethereum dApps will be able to run on the Solana blockchain, which means that those dApps will still have the Ethereum infrastructure, but will be able to use the scalability of Solana, so full interoperability. So we're gonna be looking at the details and how actually this works. But before we do, shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Grape. The first web for layer one infrastructure for a decentralized internet. Now, there are two things that make Grape unique. Number one is the infrastructure known as DAG. And then the second part is their AI assistance that's gonna be embedded into the Web4 infrastructure. Now, one of the biggest claims that the Grape team has said that technology can do, besides being quantum resistant and others, is it will be able to do up to 700K plus TPS, also known as transactions per second. All right, so if you'd like to check out Grape and do a little bit more due diligence and get up to a 10% bonus on your investment, the links will be down in the description. Now, here comes the rest of the show. So the Solana and the Ethereum interoperability is made possible through an Ethereum virtual machine built on the Solana blockchain called Neon EVM. Now, if you look right here at this article that came out yesterday, Ethereum and Solana's computing models bridged Neon EVM. Ethereum DFs will now be able to tap into Solana's infrastructure for effective transaction settlements. Now, let's dive into this. Neon's EVM functions through a unique smart contract that resides on the Solana blockchain. This contract is tasked with processing wrapped Ethereum transactions and thereby integrating the robustness of Ethereum dApps environment with high speed and low cost infrastructure that Solana boasts. So this is a fusion between the two computing models. Now, before we read the next part, some of you may be saying, well, Mike, why is this important that Ethereum can now run dApps on Solana? Well, if you remember, developers are always looking for a more low cost and effective way. And this article breaks it down perfectly. Check this out. It says Ethereum developers looking for cost effective solutions for their Ethereum virtual machine dApps had to resort to rollups or side chains, both classified as layer two solutions. Neon EVM arrival on the Solana mainnet disrupt this narrative. Developers can now deploy their Ethereum dApps directly onto Solana's network. This is huge, right? This is massive. Now, if you move down a little bit, it talks about one of the primary reasons for Ethereum developers to consider alternatives has been escalating costs associated with ethereum's transaction fees with the average of around two dollars now when they use the layer two solutions right it's an average of around 50 cents to 10 cents now when we look at solana of course we know solana transaction speed and cost blows most chains out of the water as you can see on average a solana transaction is going to cost you point zero 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 one so which is equivalent to 0.0002 cents, which translates to a 10,000 fold saving of transaction costs compared to Ethereum. This is why this is important because developers want to save money. So now, if they can deploy Ethereum dApps on Solana and still have that Ethereum infrastructure, but be able to use that low cost and effective and efficient uh, that Solana has while also having a scalability as well that is massive so i'm excited to see how this is actually going to affect things moving forward now the last thing to put everything in a nutshell here so neon evm's advent serves as a milestone moment in the evolution of blockchain technology it effectively bridges the gap between the two major blockchain ecosystems ethereum and solana while also offering an unparalleled level of efficiency and affordability in transaction settlements. I think this is huge. And if you go over to the website here for Neon EVM, here you can see Neon is fully Ethereum compatible environment on Solana. So this is for uh, Ethereum, but it is actually built on Solana. This is huge. And if we move down real quick to the Neon roadmap, you can see right now we are in Q2 of 2023. 
According to this roadmap and lessons earlier, we're not expected to see this go full time until 2024 sometime. That is huge though, right? Right before, in my opinion, the full on bull run, right? So I'm very excited to see how this is gonna pan out. And if we just look at the rankings here, of course we know Cardano and Soul have been going back and forth between that seventh and eighth spot, as you can see right here, just a little bit of room in between them. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is bullish news? Because I'm excited to see how this is going to affect things moving forward two of the biggest chains in the space allowing them to be able to now work together now anatoly the founder of solana mentioned a few weeks ago that uh solana and ethereum could be working together so this could be the start of something big let me know down in the comment section what you think smash that like button be sure to hit that subscribe button as well and i will catch you all on the next one